Good day, Grade Tens. Welcome to the next lesson in probability. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the difference between theoretical probability, probability versus relative frequency. Now, those are very big words, but actually, it's quite an easy concept. Let's talk about it. So, it says, if all, wait, I just want to get a pen. There we go. If all the outcomes of an experiment are equally likely, then we can calculate the probability of an event happening. So for example, we've got the number of elements over the over the n s. So we've got the number of elements in the event over the number of elements in the sample space. So for example, and um, in the very first lesson in introduction, he we were actually this was actually explained to us that if we're looking at the probability of us getting a heads, we know that the total possibility of our sample space is heads and tails, which is two, and the probability of getting a head, well, a head is one out of the two, so that's a half. Whereas for a dice, the probability of getting a six was one six. We've already seen that. So this is theoretical probability. It doesn't take into account what really happens in real life. Relative frequency is an estimate of what actually happens. So it's the total number of favorite outcomes over the total number of trials. So in other words, what this does is this tells us what we actually get. So let's say for example the theoretical the theoretical probability the theoretical probability probability of getting ahead when we are flipping a coin is what we said. We said it was one half, which is 50%. However, if we throw that coin several, several times, so let's say we throw it several times, and out of a hundred trials, we flip this coin a hundred times, we find out that we actually get ahead 61 times. So that means that actually the relative frequency, the relative frequency, the relative frequency is actually 61%. The difference between the theoretical probability and relative frequency, the theoretical probability says what theoretically is the probability this is going to happen. The relative frequency is actual real output. We do the experiment, we do it a number of times, and we find, ah, it's not 50%, it's actually more like 61%. And that might have to do with things like the fact that the one side of the coin is heavier than the other side of the coin, or the person that's flipping the coin might have a little flick to his hand or something like that. So in this experiment, the relative frequency was 61% compared to the theoretical probability of 50%. And that is totally the difference between theoretical probability and relative frequency. And that's it, grade 10s. Nice and easy. Have a lovely day.